Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about my bread and butter bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully pick up cheap and flip for a profit. So my bread and butter items are typically items that are easier to find that you can source cheap and sell for decent money. The first item here is this cute little gunned plush March of Dimes sweetness pink white teddy bear. You can see it has the little, it looks kind of, I don't know what that's like a band aid or what that is, but I got this from a viewer of the channel. She reached out to me. She said, I have all of these stuffed animals. I need them out of my house. Please come get them. And she was local. So I went ahead and went and picked those up. And I do appreciate her so much. That was so kind. But March of Dimes, anything that has anything special like this, definitely keep that in mind. It may be a little more long tail but someone may be looking for it. I sold this one for $16.25 and the buyer paid shipping and my cost of goods was zero. Here is another one that came out of that same lot. This guy is huge. Um, I'm not a huge fan of big, big stuffed animals unless they have big profit margins because they're so hard to package. So this one I was able to condense down and I, what I did is I put it in a plastic bag and I just squeezed it way down and I was able to get it in a 12 by 12, I think it's 12 by 12 by nine USPS box. So it worked out, but um, yeah, just hard getting it into the box. So people always ask, how do I ship stuffed animals? If they're smaller, I like to use a bubble poly mailer. Bigger like this, I like to use a box. I sold this for a best offer of $25.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This is also an item that I pre-package when I list it. So sometimes I'll do that if it's big and bulky so that I know what the weight and the measurements are. So just a little tip. That way you don't get into trouble with um, shipping costs and lose money. This is a little Tonka Masito Happy Face Airplane. And it's from 2005. I got this at a thrift store for a quarter, sold it for $6.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, this may be something you don't want to waste your time on. Low profit margins, but 25 cents and to $6.50, I'm going to take that. This is the Peppa de, de Lamar. <laughs> it's a skunk. It's a talking skunk. And this one I got from Donatella Bottolino when she was doing her plush in bulk. You guys remember that back in the day. She's now over on Whatnot. And the Rebel Reseller and I did a competition. We each bought a box from Donna and we did a video showing what we got. And then, you know, we just listed and showed you guys how we listed and sold the items. And you guys picked who had the better box. Check out the Rebel Reseller. She's fabulous. She does plush, tons and tons of plush. She sells other things too, but she's just fabulous. And Whatnot. Donatella is also on Whatnot. And I am on Whatnot also. There's a link down below. It's my referral link. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that. And you can definitely source items to sell on um, the platforms from Whatnot. And I sold this for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. So if you want to grab that referral link and get $15 to shop, it is linked down below. Uh, Hallmark. These are Hallmark Christmas Little Drummer Boys. These did take a long time to sell. I got these at a garage sale for a dollar and I flipped them for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So just a nice little bread and butter vintage item. This is a blue. I'm sorry, not blue. Uh, it's kind of blue, bluish pink. Stuffed animal, it's Commonwealth. It is small, guys. And I talked about this in one of my other videos. And the tag is coming, you know, apart. I ended up taking a best offer of 25 on this, which I think is still pretty good. I had it priced high because I couldn't find anything like it. And I got it at the Goodwill bin, so probably about a buck. So a dollar into 25, and the buyer paid shipping. These are Lion King um, hair accessories. These took a long time to sell. I don't even remember where I got them. This was a long tail item. And I don't know if my keywords were just bad. I don't know. But I sold them for um, $11.69 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Fisher Price Geo Tracks. And this one may surprise you. It's got these little logs in it. I think probably a lot of times these little pieces get, I think they're logs, get, or, or maybe they're pipe. It says pipe hauler. 
So I probably used Google Lens to look that up. Google Lens, Bola Buddies in the YouTube search. I'll show you how to use it. It is free. It will help you identify items. I sold this for $16.25 and the buyer paid shipping. And this also came out of a thrift store mystery box. This is a vintage Amscan honeycomb accordion Thanksgiving turkey decoration. And it looks like that. I got this one at a garage sale for $1. I like these old vintage decorations. I always pick them up. They're not a huge profit usually, but um, nice, uh, easy flip. And I sold it for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Look how cool it is. Vintage Fisher Price Dream Dollhouse Blue Replacement Door. So I tell you guys, pick up dollhouses and if they're not in good condition, you can part them out. I sold this one for, I didn't write it down for some reason. Um, I think I sold it for the asking price of $10.54 plus shipping. And I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. This is a Nerf dart jersey. And you would think this would have sold for more, but I don't know what it retails for. Does it say on here? So I think the darts like stick to the jacket or the shirt. It's like a Target thing. I don't know. Got it in a thrift store mystery box, sold it for 10 and the buyer paid shipping. So the thrift store mystery boxes, you know, I would take the number of items, divide it out by what I paid for the box. And that was my cost of goods. So I'm guessing maybe a buck or so in this. This is a vintage wishbone mini five inch plush. And I got this at the Goodwill bin. So probably a dollar or less took a best offer of 10 and the buyer paid shipping. When you do uh, stuffed animals, I like to measure it so people can see it. And I also include a um, picture of the tag. So you can see here, there's the date. This is Lego pieces. These are replacement parts. I have no idea what set they go to, but I sold these for $21.70. So basically I took like items that were the same color and that's what I did. And they sold for a nice profit. Probably had a dollar or less in this. I got it in a bulk lot of Legos. Lemonade, cat's meow. This is a bread and butter. This one is very, very small. And I usually pick up cat's meow in bulk. They have the little cat on them. They're little wood shelf sitters. Shelf sitter would have been a good keyword. Sold this for a best offer of $5.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This one here is a Pokemon Jumbo Poke Ball set replacement. Bag one only sealed. I picked this up. It was missing um, or one of the bags was open or something. So I decided to part it out. I think I've sold two or three of the bags. So it's going pretty well. Uh, sold this for $10.40 and the buyer paid shipping. So you can definitely part out Lego sets. This is a greeting card. This took forever to sell. But with that being said, I listed a whole bunch of these. And this was a long time ago. I'm talking years and years ago. A lot of them sold very quickly. This one, for some reason, nobody wanted it. Um, but they has glitter on it. Anytime you can find um, pretty cards that people can junk journal or craft with, uh, definitely keep it in mind. If I was a seller that only sold cards, what would be great is people could go in and bundle items. But I don't have a lot of cards. So this ended up selling for $4.46. It is new old so stock, unused. Buyer was all in for $10.39 on that. So Legos, cards, different things like that. A lot of people have stores where they specialize in particular items and people can go in and bundle. If you do that, let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you at a whatnot show. And let me know if you have any questions and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.